Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful, fall of 2021 day here uh, in the end times in paradise. Uh, in New York, baby, on this spectacularly gorgeous Tuesday morning would be October 19th, 2021. October 19th, 2021, and I'm off to help uh, Sister, Sister Sandy get her place locked down for winter time as I prepare to uh, bail to the oasis of freedom known as Florida. I am heading out in 20 days, heading out, me and the little dog, and I'm assuming an empty seat beside me. So, of course, we all know what October 19th, 2021 is. It is Dulcinea's 50th birthday. So, I want all of us to wish Dulcinea a happy 50th birthday as she enters the next phase of her life without ham bone little tail apparently uh, but anyway we are sitting and we are now in the last 12 hours of the death rattle of the uh, ill-fated love affair between ham bone and, uh, and dulcinea so uh, Anyway, 12 hours before we nail the coffin into that little uh, aberration in my life. But we will have plenty of time for coffin nailing tomorrow. So I am just sitting here thinking about, you know, at age 62, <laughs> I was just thinking back of my own 50th birthday, what I was doing the day I turned 50 years old, so I'm just going to sit here for those of you who really uh, give a shit while I'm driving down these beautiful back roads on this gorgeous day to remember my 50th birthday. I was in the on the banks of the Mother of God River in the Peruvian Amazon rainforest is where I welcomed in uh, <laughs> my 50s. Uh, so this was, that would have been September 22nd, nine, September 22nd, 2009. That uh, is the day I turned 50 and I had just wrapped up my, uh, <clears throat> my book about my adventures in Peru, Peruvian Plunge, which uh, you can find Peruvian Plunge by Hambone Littletail. I think you can find it in, at barnesandnoble.com or lulu.com. It is an ebook for the anyone who wants to read uh, that book. Uh, but one of the characters in that book was this giant uh, tree, this giant kapok tree out there in the uh, Peruvian Amazon along the banks of the Mother of God River. Uh, and where I spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, 110 feet up uh, in the uh, branches of this giant old growth kapok tree in uh, in the rainforest down there. I'm having this senior moment. Uh, anyway, anyone who has seen this movie, it, I think it's a one-word title beginning with the letter A. 
it might have the word the before the letter a and uh, you know word retrieval they say is the first thing to go I'm pretty sure Sigourney Weaver was the female lead and anyway uh, it featured this giant tree called the spirit tree in this movie A. Uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but anyway, uh, enough of my uh, nascent uh, Alzheimer's brewing in my old body. Uh, if you've seen that movie, that spirit tree is the kind of tree that uh, I was talking about. So my plan that I had hatched during, while I was writing that book in uh, the summer of my 49th year uh, after I had uh, pulled my head out of my ass and quit my job and moved to the Peruvian Amazon is that I wanted to celebrate my 50th birthday 100, I wanted to spend the night 110 feet up uh, this giant Kapok tree uh, along the banks of the Mother of God River. Uh, so I had uh, some hazy plan. I had no idea exactly how I was going to make this happen. It, it involved bribing a, a park ranger or something. Uh, I was going just to play that one by ear. So anyway, I was um, for this event you know, I've mentioned uh, Lulu, who is the uh, closest thing I've ever had to a soulmate in my life. My, you know, my Trump tarred friend from Austin. Uh, so we had actually uh, broken up uh, two years previously. So we were no longer. They, you know, joined below the hip, but uh, we were still uh, still running buddies, shall we say. So Lulu had come in from Austin, Texas to uh, join me for my 50th birthday. And uh, so had some vague plan of doing ayahuasca. Uh, to close out uh, the first uh, half century of my life that we had some crazy plan that I was I guess going to manifest some ayahuasca shaman uh, to take us on a ayahuasca journey for uh, the final night of my 40s so anyway Lulu and I uh, are, are sitting on the banks of the Mother of God River in this godforsaken hellhole. What the fuck did I do? This godforsaken hellhole called Itawania, Peru. Itawania, Peru is where we found ourselves stranded on the banks of the Mother of God River trying to get a fucking boat out of there when uh, this dude out of nowhere appears and sits down and uh, starts chatting us up and uh, I mentioned to him that I was looking for a shaman named uh, Francisco at somewhere out in somewhere out in that part of the rainforest, uh, I was trying to find this shaman named Francisco, and he looked at me and said, "I am Francisco." So, <laughs> so uh, Francisco, we met up with Francisco, so we made plans to uh, to do ayahuasca. On, uh, on you know my last day of age 49 and then uh, Francisco was going to give us a ride in his dugout uh, 
well, it was a dugout canoe, but it had a motor on it. His motorized dugout canoe, he was going to give us a ride down to the Kapok tree. So anyway, on the uh, last night of my 49th year, uh, you know, hours before I turned 50 years old, I was born at 6.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, by the way, on September 22nd. So in the final hours before then, we did ayahuasca out in the uh, out in the jungle uh, on the banks of the Mother of God River to bid farewell to uh, the first 50 years of my life and start the other one. So we did the ayahuasca thing, and uh, was that the that was the fourth and last time I have done ayahuasca in my life. So we get up the next morning, and so I'm now 50 years old, and so uh, you know it had been raining during the night. So I go track down Francisco, and uh, he, you know and to make plans to get delivered to the giant Kapok tree and he announced that he was not going to take me to the giant Kapok tree. Uh, I, I, I said, oh, uh, I said, that was yesterday and today is today. And he said, see gringo, that was ayer idea." is idea. So uh, apparently my plans had changed so he put us in his boat and he took us across the river to the other side of the Mother of God and just dumped us off. Dumped us off with this dude who had never heard of us. Uh, no fucking clue who we are. Uh, and Francisco said well maybe Mario or whoever his name was would take us to the Kapok tree. So Francisco dumps us off. You know, it's about eight o'clock in the fucking morning uh, on my on my fiftieth birthday, and uh, and so Mario, uh, you know, looks at the river and is pointing at all of these giant logs and flotsam and jetsam washing by, and assured me he was not taking me to my fucking Kapok tree either. So uh, he suggested as an alternative uh, that there was this uh, abandoned eco lodge about a, a couple of hour walk from uh, his place uh, up the river that he was some sort of caretaker of this abandoned eco lodge, and uh, so he uh, said he would lead us up there. And so I, you know, I said, "Well, is there any food?" And he said, "No." So that set off. We what we did is we tried to catch this rooster uh, running around his property was going to be my 50th birthday dinner. Fucker charged me $12 for this rooster. It, and guys, I, I will regret it to the day I die. Uh, us trying to, the rooster apparently knew he was dead. And he had no intention of being caught uh, and killed. And uh, so anyway, uh, we spent uh, about two hours trying to catch this rooster. I was filming. Uh, it, it was one of the funniest fucking videos. Uh, us trying to catch this fucking rooster uh, so I could have my uh, birthday dinner. Uh, up at this abandoned eco lodge. So anyway, long story short, uh, we finally did. His, his dog, finally, his dog, finally, 
got the rooster, so we, we you know, we killed the old red rooster, uh, packed him into a bag, and uh, headed off to this abandoned eco lodge uh, along the banks of the Mother of God River, and uh, that is where I spent my. Uh, my 50th birthday so of course we get there and uh, unbelievably so there was another that this Indian couple what was the t-shirt that this uh, Stone Age Amazon Indian was wearing it was from Austin Texas we get there in the fucking uh, Indian dude uh, there at the place uh, had a t-shirt on from Austin Texas so uh, I hire his wife to uh, cook the uh, to cook the chicken uh, so he actually managed to scrounge up a room t of course there was no refrigerator or anything so he actually managed unbelievably to uh, scrounge up one fucking bottle of piss warm beer that was my uh, that was th th that was my celebratory beer so we went and uh, Lulu and I went and watched the uh, sunset, the sunset over the Mother of God River, uh, drinking that piss warm beer. And then we came back and this uh, Indian woman who had cooked this meal for us, uh, you know, for my 50th birthday, she was, I mean, she was so proud of this beautiful meal that she had prepared for us and had the table all set and the candles and the and the whole fucking bit and uh, she you know she serves up uh, this chicken and I remember so I, so I pick up uh, the leg of this $12 rooster and I bite into it and it was like biting into you know, pretty much a leather boot that this was, uh, you know, a, a, a full-grown rooster who had been running around uh, for no tough for his whole life. Uh, I mean, my teeth could not penetrate uh, the uh, <laughs> this chicken. I, I think we each managed, Lulu and I each managed to gnaw on a wing and we somehow got through, each got through a wing and so I basically uh, had a piece of shoe leather and a bowl of rice, probably some uh, black beans and uh, platanos for my 50th birthday and uh, That was my big night, my big 50th birthday, how it all started with a uh, collapsed uh, manifestation. Never did make it back to that Kapok tree. So uh, we were stuck there for uh, four days and nights. Uh, Lulu and I, well, we walked back to Mario's place the next day uh, waiting for a boat either direction. We were either going to take a boat to the Kapok tree or head back to Cusco, whichever the universe delivered first. And after four days of sitting there uh, on the banks of the Mother of God River, after four fucking days, uh, we finally caught a boat. Uh, that eventually got us back to Cusco, Peru, and uh, <laughs> that's how it all started for me. So, uh, not quite sure that Dulcinea's uh, 50th birthday is going to be quite as eventful as mine, but I'm sure she will do just fine. 
So, Dulce a happy 50th birthday, darling, and uh, I guess it is 11.54 a.m. I guess you have 12 hours and 5 minutes to tell me you want to be my Doomer chick forever, or we will uh, put the nail in this failed manifestation and uh, wish each other well and move on with our separate paths. But uh, we will figure that all out 12 hours from now. Right now, I need to pay attention to my driving. And uh, I got some firewood to move. I highly suggest you get out there and move some firewood while you still can. Happy birthday, Dulcinea. After all you've put me through, girl, I still love you.